What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to lock your Android device with just a shake. So it's a simple process, but there are some prerequisites that we're going to go over. Firstly, you will need to be running Android 4.0 or above. Next, you will need to make sure that your device is rooted and running Exposed Framework. If you don't know how to do those two things, check out this guide on GadgetX.com and find out how to. So with your device all ready to go, open Exposed Framework, which can be found in your app drawer. And then use the search option to look up Shaky. And Shaky even tells you you'll need 4.0.3 or above. Sorry, correction. Then you're just going to download and install. I've already downloaded and installed it, but let's just go through it for you guys. Alright, so it's done, it's installed. Now, you'll want to make sure that you actually activate the module. So go back to the main page of Expose and go to Modules. Make sure that Shaky, wherever it is, right here, is checked. Then go into the framework and do a quick soft boot on your device. This will ensure that the module is enabled. So the device is back on. Now let's go into the app drawer and look for the shaky icon so we can toggle on the service and make any adjustments. Oh, there it is. Shaky. Now from here you can toggle it on, obviously. And you also have the option to keep the screen on when you lock the device. So instead of making it go black along with locking it, it'll just lock it. And then there's automatically resecure after 1, 5, 10, 30 minutes so it'll lock your device again. Um, after you make your changes, you will unfortunately need to do another quick restart. So let's go ahead and do that. So once your device restarts, you're just going to shake it and the screen will turn off. Pretty seamless and it'll save you some clicks on your actual hard key that turns your screen off, which um, can add to the wear and tear and eventually make it stop functioning as well. Now the bad part is there's no sensitivity option, you can't make it more sensitive and easier to toggle on. It takes a pretty firm shake, which I don't mind because I don't want it being extremely sensitive and turning off or locking me out all the time. So hopefully that's a feature that they add, but for right now, uh, it's pretty good and it saves me some clicks. And as you can see, it's working fine. So definitely try it out. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.